Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie Ajin Demi Human, released in the year 2017. The movie revolves around Ajin, a new type of humans who are immortal. They're able to withstand any magnitude of punishment, and even if they die, they come back to life almost immediately. The first Ajin was discovered 26 years ago in South Africa. The Japanese government has established the Ajin Management Committee and has been studying to solve the mystery. The movie opens up with a man named Kei Nagai, who dies in a truck accident. However, he comes back to life with all his injuries healed, which reveals that he is an Ajin. Before the accident, Nagai was living a completely normal life as a medical student in Tokyo, without realizing that he was an Ajin. Soon after the accident, the Ajin Management Committee, which is supposed to protect the Ajin, takes Nagai under their control. However, instead of protecting him from any danger, it's revealed that the committee is conducting brutal experiments on him. Since the government has declared Nagai as the third Ajin, it's clear that they had experimented on two more Ajin previously. In the following scene, we see Nagai being viciously experimented on at a research lab. The head of Ajin Management Committee, Yu Tozaki, reports the ongoing research to the government. Tozaki asks the researchers to cut his arms and legs to discover the process of regeneration. Poor Nagai is still unaware about his identity as an Ajin and is devastated with the experiments on him. As he goes through immense pain, he thinks about why this is happening to him. Meanwhile, a government officer asks Tozaki if the third Ajin experiment will turn out to be effective. Since the last two experiments were a failure and the public still thinks that the government and Ajin Management Committee are protecting all three Ajin, the officer is worried. However, Tozaki assures him that there's nothing to worry about. Suddenly, two intruders, Sato and Tanaka, break into the research lab and start shooting at the guards. Sato looks at the surveillance camera and delivers a message to Tozaki that he and Tanaka have come to rescue Nagai. He also reveals that he had saved Tanaka a few years earlier from those cruel experiments and warns Tozaki that things will be different today. Hearing this, Tozaki immediately commands the guards to stop Sato and Tanaka using lethal anesthetics. While the two intruders indulge in a fight with the guards, one of the guards shoots at Sato with a tranquilizer. Surprisingly, Sato cuts his wrist and continues to fight. However, when he's shot again, he shoots himself to death. As Sato's hand regenerates and he comes back to life, it is clear that Sato is an Ajin too. Here we get to know that Sato and Tanaka were the two previous test subjects in the lab. A few moments later, Sato continues to kill the guards and the researchers as he frees Nagai. Afterwards, Sato hands a gun to Nagai and asks him to shoot at the three remaining researchers. However, Nagai disagrees. As a result, Sato himself kills one of the researchers to show how it's done. This only enrages Nagai, and he shoots Sato several times before running away with the researchers. After a while, Sato regains consciousness and manages to locate Nagai and the researchers. He immediately kills the researchers and starts pursuing Nagai to kill him, as the latter refuses to kill humans and collaborate with other Ajin. In the following scene, Sato summons a black ghost, which is the essence and ability of Ajin, from within himself. All of a sudden, Nagai also summons his black ghost unknowingly, and when the two ghosts start tussling, Nagai attempts to run away. Sato, being faster and stronger than Nagai, stops him. However, Nagai uses his black ghost to kill Sato and escape. Afterwards, when Sato comes back to life, he and Tanaka confront the media reporters, who have been waiting outside the research lab for the Ajin update. Tanaka disguises himself as a crippled victim, and Sato takes him in front of the media. There, Sato spills all the information about the inhuman experiments conducted by the Ajin Management Committee under the government's instructions. After this, he also reveals their true identities. As Sato explains how he saved Tanaka from the government, he names a website that shows Tanaka being experimented on. Even though they're immortal, Sato claims that they have to go through extreme pain during the experiments. Saying this much, he demands civil rights for all Ajin and a special autonomous district for them. Soon, the news and the recording becomes viral everywhere. 
The following morning, Nagai reaches a village where he meets an old woman. The woman thinks that Nagai looks like her grandson, so she takes him to her house and asks him to rest. Elsewhere, Nagai's sister, Eriko, who is in a hospital, finds out about her brother on the TV. Later, Tozaki's assistant, Izumi, inquires with Eriko about Nagai's whereabouts, but she's unaware. Suddenly, Izumi is attacked by the black ghost of Tanaka, who is outside the hospital. Surprisingly, Izumi is also an Ajin, as her black ghost comes out from her body and fights with Tanaka's ghost. After this revelation, Tanaka comes inside the hospital to attack Izumi and abduct Eriko. But when he sees them surrounded by a lot of people, he heads out. In the next scene, Tozaki justifies himself and the government in a press meet regarding Sato's allegations. He claims that Sato's statements are untrue and also asserts that the recording is fabricated. Meanwhile, Nagai is still living with the old woman and helping her on the farm. Later, when he hears the news about his sister Eriko on the radio, he sneaks to the hospital and meets her on the roof. Since Sato and Tanaka might attack Eriko again, he takes her to the old woman's house for her safety. After a few days, Nagai trains himself to be faster and stronger. Also, he learns how to control and use his black ghost. Meanwhile, Sato uploads a video threatening the government and public. If the government doesn't fulfill his demands soon, he and his associates will destroy the health ministry and the Ajin management committee. Furthermore, he also sends a message to all the Ajin, who are living secretly from the humans. He invites them to join the fight as he reveals the date of the battle day. On the announced day, the health minister stays calmly at his office as he believes nothing will happen. Since there are a lot of police outside the building for protection, he doesn't worry. Suddenly, a plane crashes into the ministry's building, causing a lot of destruction and casualties. Turns out that Sato was flying the plane, as he revives himself after dying in the crash. We also see more Ajin in support of Sato, after his announcement in the recording. After Sato makes his way outside the destroyed building, police surround him and shoot him continuously so that he doesn't get a chance to revive. Just then, Tanaka shoots at the police with a sniper from another building and distracts them, allowing Sato to resurrect. As soon as Sato comes back to life, he defeats all the police officers using his Ajin power. Following this, he uploads another video demanding the government and Tozaki to surrender Tokyo and empty it within two days. If the demands are not met, he and his associates will spread a poisonous gas in the city, which will cause a mass genocide. Elsewhere, Nagai and Eriko run from the old woman's house after the villagers discover that Nagai is an Ajin and try to attack him. In the meantime, Tozaki contacts Sato and offers him North Hokkaido instead of Tokyo. However, Sato refuses the offer. Later, when Tozaki steps out of the building, he notices Nagai. Nagai offers to help him protect the humans, fighting Sato and his associates in exchange for his sister's protection by the government. He also demands a new identity as a human after Sato is defeated. With no options left, Tozaki accepts the deal. Shortly after, Nagai prepares a strategy with Tozaki and other government officials to fight Sato and his associates. In the next scene, it's revealed that Tanaka spent four years as a test subject in the research lab while Sato was experimented on for 20 years. Because of the enormous torture, they hate humans and want to save other Ajin from such cruelty. After two days, Sato and his team leave to attack the government. One of their companions infiltrates the building and manages to hack the government system. On the other hand, Tanaka holds people hostage inside the building. Afterwards, they move upwards to release the poisonous gas. Meanwhile, Tozaki confronts the hacker and points a gun at him. Although Tanaka and his associates reach the room where the gas is located, suddenly a black mist appears over the room, disturbing Tanaka and his men's vision. Turns out that the black mist is spread by Nagai from his black ghost through a vent. Taking advantage of this, the police manage to tranquilize Tanaka and his men. Later, we see Sato at a woodshop. Suddenly, he resurrects inside the building. It is then revealed that Sato had cut his hand and Tanaka had carried it inside his bag. 
Therefore, Sato regrows his body at the building with his hand. This surprises Nagai as well as the police, and they immediately attempt to tranquilize him. However, Sato uses his black ghost as a shield to protect himself and kills the police. Afterwards, Sato locates Tanaka and other associates and wakes them up. They then reach the room where the poisonous gas is located. Sato goes to the top of the building with the gas and asks Nagai to confront him. Soon, Nagai arrives and an intense battle ensues. Both of them fight against each other and their ghosts do the same. Meanwhile, Tozaki meets Tanaka and the latter immediately attacks him with his black ghost. As Tozaki is about to meet his end, Izumi arrives there in the nick of time and saves him. After this, she starts fighting with Tanaka, while their ghosts also battle it out. Amidst the chaos, Tozaki injects a tranquilizer in Tanaka's body, rendering him unconscious. Elsewhere, Nagai and Sato continue their furious battle. Sato is impressed with Nagai, as the latter has become a skilled fighter in just a few weeks. Just then, Nagai shoots Sato with a tranquilizer, but loses one of his arms in the process. Despite Sato being knocked out, his ghost is still awake, and it immediately kills Sato, and revives him again. Seeing this, Nagai is devastated, as he doesn't have any more energy to continue fighting. When Sato approaches Nagai and gets ready to kill him, suddenly, a group of police officers infiltrate the place and shoot at the two Ajin with a taser gun, freezing them to death. Then, the police destroy both of them and collect their body parts, making it impossible for them to regenerate themselves. At the end of the movie, Nagai's hand that got cut off during the fight begins to regenerate. As soon as he comes to life, he jumps from the top of the building and escapes. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this, and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.